Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Let's Play Massive Chalice. Unfortunately, I was recording an episode um, earlier that where I actually had married these two off, and I simulated for a little bit. It was about eight to ten minutes of gameplay, and uh, Twitch screwed up on me, and it it didn't save properly, and the feed cut off. So. Uh, that part is unfortunately lost, but it was just a little bit of simulation and just the little marrying process. And they did have a child, and uh, we're looking at this child right here who is already one years old. And uh, unfortunately, we got a couple of bad traits in here. Uh, Frasia Kroll is nearsighted, and she is slow. Two fairly bad attributes to have. Uh, unfortunately, that's the risk we took, and uh, let's come back to bite us in child number one. But you know what? That's okay. We still have plenty of babies to come between these two, hopefully. And hopefully future babies will be a little stronger. And you never know. Freya could still be good. She just has a few things holding her back. Uh, besides that, I don't know if I picked anything. I think that's all I did, really. So let's move on. Visit the capital. Let's go look at our research here. I could build another keep. And uh, I'm trying to think. Should I build a keep or should I look for more heroes? I think I'm going to look for more heroes, actually. Because the more the merrier... Maybe we can get someone with uh, some better traits, and then I'll build the next keep after that. So here we go, Discover Heroes. We're gonna simulate forward here and move on from year five. So only one battle so far in five years. It seems like the battles are spread out quite far in between. Oh, another baby was born. Oh, two babies are born. All right, so check them out. We got Georgie Kroll. Or is it Crawley? I'm going to say Crawley. Georgie Crawley. I like the way that sounds. And uh, his traits, he's hardy. He's a quick study. So two good traits. Only positive here. Nothing negative. We like that. Oh, it's a, it's a girl or girl. I thought it was a boy. But no, it's another girl. Okay, excellent. And a baby boy this time. Derek. Derek Crawley has been born. Let's see what Derek Crowley is all about. He just has quick study, but again, that is good. So, so far we have some pretty good stats here for the last two babies. I'm excited. There's Frazier. She's getting older. She's five years old. She'll be ready in 10 years. Push forward. Year nine already. Year 10. Our research is complete. We have our Chalice Attuned Citizens. Let's go check them out. All right, we got Kevin Duffy, age 17, is an alchemist. Rhaegar Reigns, uh-oh. Rhaegar, we got a Targaryen. Rhaegar Reigns, <laughs> AKA Rhaegar Targaryen, an alchemist. Fitting as he likes his dragon fire. Let's uh, check out Rhaegar here. Got low fertility, oh, that sucks. Slow learner, that's not good. He's cocky, so really he's got all bad things, but man, so tempted to make this guy a king, but uh, I don't think it's going to work out. Not with those stats. Cassandra Lore. Ooh, brainy, bountiful, up, oh, sickly, but she's optimistic, reveler, and cocky. Good and bad with her. I like her colors. Rukia Lycander. Oh, some bad traits here. Very bad traits. Man, a lot of just bad people.
Thomas Lackey. I think we actually we've had him, but he has some decent traits. All right. Well, unfortunately, no standouts really. But uh, at least we got more people here to work with. Now I will build another keep. Only way to ensure the most powerful bloodline survives through keeps by marrying heroes together as regent and partner. The bloodlines have a chance to continue through generations to come. All right, so we're gonna build another keep here because I want another bloodline flowing. Now I think when you build stuff inside here, you don't have any bonuses, but you're safer from being taken over. However, if you build on the outside, you get these bonuses here. Hmm. Increased fertility. All heroes plus kill XP. Wow. Reduce construction time. I think I'm going to go here because this plus kill XP. I think that means uh, every time we get a kill, we get XP for it. That's pretty big. But then again, the thing is, fights are so rare that might not be as big as it seems. Local guild research plus research. All right, we're going to go for the research. It's like the smartest play right now. All right, let's progress that timeline. Before you were making choices on the battlefield. Now, I'll be making choices on the battlefield of life. <coughs> what? Come on. I will not apologize if I'm passionate about. You know when you guide the heroes in battle, well, sometimes the people, your heroes included, will want your advice on matters they can't decide themselves. They'll be putting their choices in your hands, and sometimes their lives. And the decisions you make may affect the morale of the nation. Unfortunately, we've learned that the cadence feeds off grief and malcontent. So if something tragic happens, corruption can spread very quickly. But the opposite is true, too. We will trust your decisions, whatever they end up being. Okay, so, we have a scenario here. Complications. A doctor prods you awake. Excuse me, a regency of yours, Conan Usal, and Rex Crowley were visiting the capital today, and during their tour of the gar gardens, Conan just went into labor. We've been trying to deliver the baby, but there have been complications. I can't say both of them, and when I told Rex this, he ran out of the room. I don't know who else to ask. Oh, great. I want to save the mother. Screw the child that can have many more children. Wow, they're in their 40s already. However, I wonder if putting them in the chalice would help them. I'm just curious to see what would happen if we did that. So to the chalice, they go. Speechless, having heard the cities echoing out from the having heard the cries echoing out from the chalice, Rex scrambles into the room just as the baby is delivered. Rex, a voice calls out, meet Bridget. Baby in tow, Conan pops up over the top of the chalice and sits on, on the lip. Both she and the child are positively glowing and the doctor is at a total loss for words. It's a miracle. Check it out, a miracle, we got a miracle solution. Conan Ustal has gained the bountiful trait, and Bridget has been born with the hardy trait. Oh yeah, that's how you do it. You just you know, you put them in the chalice. It pays off. Let's check out Bridget's stats here. Impressionable, hardy, and quick study. Awesome. That paid off big time. I'm happy with that. Very good. Very good. Moving on. some action as you have no doubt surmised by now it takes time for the cadence to create its pawns so they're only able to attack every few years unfortunately you cannot fight back multiple incursions at the same time our primary focus is charging up to destroy our enemy and we can only allot enough of our energy to send out one group of heroes at a time pawns don't last long outside of the cadence either so even if you win one battle it'll be too late to fight the other choose wisely Blow the horns! Yeah! <laughs> she is amped for this fight, but you know what? So are we. Uh, we got two choices here. Oh, we got a reward. 25% reduction of current research time. Okay. That's actually kind of good. 
Reward, a newborn baby girl. Hmm. We just had Bridget, so I'm not too anxious to have a newborn baby girl. Um... I don't know. I think I will... You know what? We will make this choice in the next episode. And uh, I'll debate it over the next minute or two. And we'll figure out which choice will I make. Will I take the new baby girl? Or will I go and take go for the uh, reduced research time? Stay tuned. We'll find out.